Oregon State is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Oregon's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the factor on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 20. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. He zips one over to the right. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So the opening drive failed to produce any points. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Ready, green 90, green 90. Oh, shit. Huh? Three, three, three. It's a fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. They'll get him for a loss. So the sack makes this a second and long. had a chance to get their hands on him, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Red two, orange three, orange. He's under pressure. Throws into coverage, just picked off. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. From the 35-yard line, first down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Make 
takes it out to about the 26. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. And they got him for a loss. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense, and he's releasing a safety to stop the run. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. So they run it on fourth down, and they pick up the first. Boy, big play there, Brad. You know, a lot of times on fourth down, you'll see the ball carrier panic, but not this guy. This is a good job of showing patience and letting the run develop. Touchdown, Oregon! And he converts the extra point. A nice five-play, 35-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field. And a lot of the yards came on the ground. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Ducks are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Like this. Makes it out to about the 40. their own 40-yard line. First down. Kill, kill, kill! They'll bring him down at about the 41. That's a team of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. He's scrambling. He's at midfield. And he's level at the 49. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, go back to 48 right now. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. He gets another carry. He makes it to the 38-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. On play action. He heaves it to the end zone. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. This is the eighth play of this drive. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Dog four. He goes downtown. Can't connect. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Kicks up. 
No good, he hooked it right. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's a tough break. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Oregon is up a score. Down. 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 This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Ducks. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He's at the 40. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. He carried that one for a huge game. You know what? You can see the ball carrier showcase his speed. Once he got into the open field, he just turned on the Jets and flew. He's at the 20, and down he goes at the 16-yard line. That's good for a game of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. He scrambled. He's got the corner. And he's tackled at the 11. Fires it out. What a play, and that is first and goal. Number six makes the tackle. That makes it first and goal. Feeds it to the back. Touchdown, Ducks. And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they've prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. That, that is a loss, loss of one, one yard, yard on the play. play. That'll yeah, bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. That's going to be a long Green Bay, kill, kill, kill! kill. Hey, 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 hey. Rogers, man, and they take him down immediately. That's a D5 on the play. That'll bring up 36. Man left, man left. Brought down at the 26. Gets it out quickly. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position battle. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that try. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Taken down at the 37. 
Picked up four yards on the scramble. That makes it second and six. Here we go. 98 Weasel. Here's an opening. The five. He's taken down at the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, first and goal. If you're gonna go play action inside the five, here's the time to do it. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made to the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. First down. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. Complete across the middle. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you've got a big-time advantage over any defense. never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. From the 48-yard line, second down. That's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. seven points and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff excellent kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback Oregon's been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half and Kirk are we gonna see more of the same in the second well I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively but the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in first half. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down around the 33-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. 
and he hits him hard at the 45. And the tailback broke that one for a very nice game. Give the offensive line some kudos there. They blocked very well up front to create the holes for this back. He's on the run. They bring him down. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop right around midfield. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. And down he goes at the 12-yard line. Complete, knocked away. Such great awareness. Always had his head in the play, and he made a fantastic effort to break up the pass. That makes it second and ten. From the 12-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Jack, Jack! Jack, Jack! Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They come out in a five-wide set. He's going to try and scramble. Missed tackle. He's pushed out of bounds at the 11-yard line. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kick is up, and it's good. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squib kick this one. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Nice run there. Oregon State will take their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. And he is drilled at the 24-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Oregon leads 24-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The paper, the stats, all the previews say this game should be even. It's not even at halftime. In fact, it looks as if this squad just got pushed around. They got bullied out here in the first half. Uh, one team's playing big boy football, the other team's playing peewee football. I mean, it's definitely been, it's been surprising to watch, but at some point, you just got to man up. I mean, you got to say enough's enough, and, and you got to respond because you had opportunities in the first half, and every single opportunity, Big boy football kept winning. It's something you got the little guys got to make a play. I mean, you can only get pushed around so much and, and not respond to it. And right now, it's just been disappointing to watch. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese Davids, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Goes complete, he's hit right away. Second and five. 
Ball on their own 30. And he's level at the 28 yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it 37. Three down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, look, Red two. Hit. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled around the 36-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Gain of three, three on the play. play. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and seven. seven. Hey, right, Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, she's going like the 48 right now. Let's go. go. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Black five, black five, green nine. And they got him for a loss. No big on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. They're ready to begin another drive. And he has it on the corner. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 43. That's a good play. That makes it first and 10. Here's the line. Here's the line. Right. Fox 2. Fox 2. Fox 2. He gets it out to about the 47 yard line. That's a good play. First and 10. And he tackles him hard at the 33-yard line. That's a team of 14 yards on the play. First down. Ready! Easy, easy, easy! Big dog! Big dog! He's at the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Ducks. Three rushing touchdowns on the ground today for this young man. Boy, this guy's been huge today. It's been a big part of the reason that his team has the lead. And he adds the extra point. So a five-play, 80-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. And so our score, 31-7. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Ducks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he's tapping right away. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Right, right, right. Two down, two down. Go. 
He's under pressure. They'll make the sack. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Got it. Completely out of bounds. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Black five, Fires it out. Steps out of bounds at the 42-yard line. That's a team of four. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 42-yard line. Four down, four down. Hey, alert 48. Great two. Complete. He's got room. Drop down at the 49. Five-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From the 45-yard line, second down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we don't like the 48 right now. Let's go. Gets it. He's in space. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. And this play is number eight on the drive. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they push him out at the 29-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's in trouble, and he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. And this is the 10th play of the drive. One more quarter to play. 31-7, Oregon. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, we're going to mic the 48 right now. Black five, black five. Green 15, go. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Made around the 15-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. This is the 12th play of this drive. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And they get nice yardage on that run. 
Well, that's another first down, Brad. That's the fifth first down on this drop. You know, they're, they're, this offense isn't hitting a lot of big plays, but they're very, very consistent with their execution. It's putting a lot of pressure right now on this defense. Got him over the middle, touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. So the offense is going to go for two. Get him! Get him! Hey, alert 48! Hey, we're going to mic the 48! And they get the two. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Oregon 31, Oregon State 15. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. He's scrambling. He's taken down at the 24. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 24. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled at the 15. Scrambling around. The 10. They'll bring him down at the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. at the one-yard line. The option keeper gets him two, maybe three yards. His safety did just a great job of reacting to the run and getting in there to make the tackle. Touchdown, Oregon! He makes the PAT. Oregon lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Close to nine-yard pickup there on the slam. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Just under two minutes in the game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. go. And they make the stop at about the 45. Easy, easy. Blair, Blair. First down. Red, two. Four. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Black. Quick throw. Knocked out of bounds about the 47-yard line. Not that impressive of a play. That'll Let's see if they continue decide. to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. Second and seven. 
Ball on the 47 yard line. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Going deep. Oh, he had a shot at the pin. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. That makes it 37. Watch 14, watch 14. Hey, alert 48. Black five. Black. Bounds right around the 46 yard line. That makes it fourth and inches. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They try running left. Makes it to the 37. seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. Just over a minute left. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a Here we go. And down he goes at the thirty nine. That's a team of fifteen on the play. That makes it first and ten. First and ten, ball on the 39-yard line. Let's go! Flag 98! Flag 98! And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Oregon 38, Oregon State 15. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? Oregon comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.